Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a Hurricane Damage Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Sabe dónde estamos? Sí. Okay. So, we're in Panama City. We drove through Sabanitas and it absolutely pissed down with rain. Crazy. So we're in the city for a few different reasons. We got Peter in the back. He's our uh, worker. He is moving houses. So we bought him. He's going to help his wife move house. We got Freddie on the other side. He's going to the States to visit his dad. And then Tom and I are here to pick up some materials and pick up some YouTubers. So we've been contacted by a YouTube channel, a sailing channel called Odd Life Crafting. And they are going to the Annapolis Boat Show, as are we. But because they're in Brazil at the moment, they have to have they have to spend two weeks out of Brazil before they can get into the States. There we go. Got the, this is a new countertop for Pile A. Tom's up there. Get out, mate. Yeah. Oh no, my mic's bent. Oh man, Odd Life has got to share one seat. Yeah. One each side, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. How's your neck? I oh, know, I'm good. We've actually got an hour to kill. Well, that's what we're here for. About an hour? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, where do we go? 20 minute drive, so we've got 40 minutes to kill. Any suggestions guys, leave a comment below. By the time we read it, we'll be in Linton Bay. We are officially in Panama. In Welcome to Panama. Oh. <laughs> How's it going, man? Hey, good. Oh, good. I'm Tom. I'm Duca. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Hey. hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome, man. We did that work. Two days, like one and a half day. I'm like, that was super that was like fun. so. The person sitting here is going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. Nice. Isn't it? Oh, you're smaller. You can come here. You're smaller. You ah, it's always like this. What a gentleman. Yeah. Did you just kick her in the back? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> we have beer and beer and meat. I meet them here. That's it. You can go to Brazil with. <laughs> you had enough coffee. Enough. Yeah. Have you had enough toast? Of course, no, let's get to work. <laughs> Should we go, let's go up onto the flybridge and yeah. uh, introduce you guys to the audience. That's good. So I've already told everyone that you're Odd Life Crafting. Yep. Um, you're sailing on an old steel boat. Yeah. I now mean, we are. After yeah, now we are. After two years refitting the boat and now you're sailing. <laughs> yeah, we are starting to sail now. The, the plan is to sail the Brazilian coast easier. So we are just starting the journey. Our boat was sitting on the hard for over 22 years, like almost 23 years. No one cleaned the boat for 20 something years. So yeah. So I was like... We've got dogs everywhere. <laughs> so it was a lot of work. You spent two years in the shipyard. Yeah. So you're no stranger to hard work. Not at all. No. <laughs> Colin didn't know us, but I've been watching their videos for a while. And uh, I'm like, it's a long shot. I'm not even sure if he's gonna see my message on Instagram, but I'm, you know, you, I know you already have if you don't send a message. And I'm like, hey, Colin, we need to stay in Panama for two weeks. Can this you? was like two days ago. Yeah, this was like two days ago, <laughs> literally. Yeah, so crazy. he said, yes, you can come. So I like said, so we need to find a ticket. We need to get the boat ready to leave the boat for a month. Why should people watch your channel? What's the most interesting thing about what you guys have done? I think what people can see is that anyone can do anything. Yep. Because we had no experience refitting a boat. We never refitted a boat before. Most of the things we've done was the first time. Right. So if we can do that, a lot of people can do that also. So I think it's just a way of uh, encouraging people to do what they love, to follow their dreams, basically. Whatever they want to do, I mean, like, it's just a proof that if you really want something, you can do it. I think that's our goal with the channel is just to encourage people to follow their dreams. Yeah. What's the next few 
milestones for uh it's hard to say life. because the idea was to be in brazil right now and now you're here so it's hard to <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to talk but it's hard to concentrate yeah. but with the covid we <laughs> so with covid we might stay one more year in brazil yeah. We are lucky that Brazil is huge and we have a long coast, to yeah. a lot of places to explore. So the idea this year is to explore the Brazilian coast. Yeah. So this is Odd Life Crafting. Go check them out on YouTube. And you're going to be seeing them around the boat for the next couple of weeks and then we're all going to head off to Annapolis Boat Show together. So go give them a subscribe. You. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are back onto the solar hardtop frame project. So we've got a bunch of this red and black cable. This is going to be to bring power down from the solar panels all the way down through the hard top here down to the solar charge converters. Oh look at him wearing his good parlay shirt as a work shirt. Wait, so am I. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you wrapping on the hat? It's Victory Knives. Good Kiwi brand that. <laughs> Best. <laughs> By the way guys, there's something called voltage drop and there are tables online which tell you what gauge wire you need for a specific length of wire for a specific amount of current. So there's quite a lot of current coming down these solar panels to charge the batteries. That meant that the gauge wire I had to use was six. Just so you know, you can't just use any old wire and you don't want to go too thin because that causes a voltage drop and it can also um, heat up as that current tries to get such through such a thin wire. So it's actually very, very, very important that you do uh, your homework on, on the gauge wire that you need for any, any of these DC systems, and AC for that matter. Alright y'all, Colin has trusted me to drill a hole in his boat. So, here we go. Pre-drill. Not there, not there, not there. Ah. There we go, balsa core. So we gotta really make sure we seal this well. We don't want any water going into this balsa core. It'll rot this whole coach roof out. There we go, we've got the first base of the leg on. We've got four bolts going through. Um, Tom's gonna put the plate through. We'll put a backing plate with a hole in it so that the cables can come down. So these are gonna be through bolted, not just screwed into here. Much, much stronger. Make sure we got a lot of silicon on there and then we're gonna clean it all up afterwards, obviously. You gonna do some work? Yep, that's good. All right, I'll show you what you can do. We're gonna fix all the uh, frame down now. Yep. But uh, one thing we need to do is run all of these cables. Yep. From here, the solar panels. Yep. It's gonna come through and go down all the way into this cabin where the uh, charge controllers are. Stage two is from here to here. Oh, sh shit. To here, so those things just pop off. Yep. And then to here. Yep. Step and then step. from here we go down. Sure. And so there's four cables, six gauge, and one. This one is for lights. Yep. And that'll just, it'll just come down, and we'll bring it to here, and then we'll figure out where to get 12 volts from. Okay. Here, then we yeah. bring it through. We can then send we bring it down. Okay, we've just pulled down the seating panel. Uh, now we can see the four bolts coming down from that forward leg. Okay, there we are. We ended up putting a plywood block uh, above the plate, and now the plate's sitting really nicely. See this side, this is the starboard side. This one's fine because it's kind of the plate will sit on that flat area. So now we're going to put the headliners back up, put the lights back in, so that we can uh, live in here again. And Roberto's going to cook, cook some lunch. What are you cooking? I don't know yet. Uh, I'm going to use this, but I don't know the recipe yet. <laughs> 
exciting. Colin invited us to do some exploring. We're gonna go on a dinghy ride. Oh, I need sunglasses. Even the dogs are gonna go with us today. <laughs> That's so awesome. Dogs are ready. Are you ready, Lindo? It's always nice showing people around the area because it makes you realize just how special this place really is. Our afternoons off usually start with a little bit of exploring. Then a bit of socialising. Maybe a touch of dancing, but almost always ends with a bit of music. G'day people, we're, ah oh shit, sorry, we were hanging out with uh, Plucky from Sailing Into Freedom the other day. These are gonna be our walking platforms, which go between the panels, because what we're gonna have here is a fiberglass honeycomb walkway and a little window for an, wait, wait, we don't need two windows, do we? We'll just put one window. So much less work. Wait, so when we're sailing, if we're on a starboard tack, it'll be... We have decided to put a window in both of them. So a little bit more work, but I think in the long term, it will work out to be advantageous. Unfortunately, we've got a join in here, so we'll show you how we're gonna join that. Whose fault Colin was that? Wrong. So, if we had cut these squares two out of one, we could have got these. He's gonna try to blame out of me. His without He's having gonna to try have to blame me joint. for it, but he did it. But somebody he did it. Wasn't cut me. a big square Colin out of did it. both of them, him. so we can't get any full length. Don't listen to him. What if you say for yourself? Don't let Colin cut new shoes. Where was that grinder as well? Colin also. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> 
We also didn't put the We thought we had there. a stolen grinder. Looking all over the place. I was about to post on Facebook in the Linton Bay group saying, hey, there's a freaking thief in town. And uh, we found it exactly where Tom left it last. So the thief stole I, it. I would never have used put it, it there. and then put it back exactly where it came. <laughs> Hey, we're trying to Raccoon. Oh, dog fight. Oh, the little guy's got the big guy. That dog thinks he is a great dame. So now that's all of our pieces ready for our little walkways. This is ridiculous. Tom doesn't get itchy from fiberglass. No, nope. too tough. What the hell? It's unbelievable, you know that. Victory knives. Get, get yourself some. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? In a previous episode, we gave a very comprehensive explanation about how we made one of the hard top panels using the honeycomb core and biaxial glass. So jump back to episode 128 if you want to learn the process. We will skip through the explanation a little more this week, but there are basically four fiberglass panels between and around the solar panels. This is just to give us something to be able to walk on, as we want to access the sail bag above it. The honeycomb panels are glued together with a layer of biaxial glass between them for strength. Then we put two layers of glass on top, and we screwed the piece down in order for it to cure with the curve that we wanted it. The process is exactly the same for the walkways, except there is a little more work involved in making the frame for the window, which we will show you how to do in a future episode. So now we've got to cut the far side, the front edge, and that side edge. So I've just marked where the, um, the screws are going to go. What we're going to do in that area is, obviously if we put a screw into this, there's only a couple of layers of glass and then this plastic honeycomb. So the screws aren't really going to be holding anything significant. So we're going to drill a bigger hole here and we're going to fill it with um, resin, with cover seal and we'll chop up some fiberglass inside it to make like a structural filler. And we'll fill it with that and then uh, glass over the top so it'll be give us something really solid to uh, screw into. Once we made the plugs for the screws we were ready to start sorting out the edges of the panels and then on to fairing and spraying. There is absolutely no way you can glass around these hard 90 degree edges because at the moment it is impossible to glass that. 